Now, while reading up on COVID-19, you may have heard about genomic sequencing. It's the process used in labs to detect variants of COVID-19 from PCR test samples. Some social media users falsely claim it's also collecting samples of your DNA. TNTV's Lindsay Mills takes the claim to experts to verify why it's not true. This is the tweet from the CDC that sparked a flurry of false information in a thread. It says, remember that COVID-19 nose swab test you took? What happened to the swab? If it was processed with a PCR test, there's a 10% chance that it ended up in a lab for genomic sequencing analysis. Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene retweeted it and wrote, did the CDC get permission from people to take their DNA? And there are replies like this one asking, do you have signed consent forms for every single DNA sample? Our sources, the CDC and Ohio Health Infectious Disease Specialist, Dr. Joe Gastaldo. One day after the original tweet, the CDC followed up with another to clarify. It says in part, the CDC and our partners conduct genomic sequencing analysis of the virus that causes COVID-19. Our cells contain DNA, not RNA. You could do genetic sequencing on DNA or RNA, but in the context of genetic sequencing on a COVID test, it's genetic sequencing only for RNA of the virus and not the person's DNA. We can verify the claim that the CDC is collecting a database of DNA from PCR COVID test samples is false. This is an RNA virus, not a DNA virus. And that's what a PCR test does. It detects a piece of the RNA. Have something you'd like us to verify? Send us an email to verify at 10tv.com. With your verify, I'm Lindsay Milk.